Hi! In this video, we practice accessing class members from a different class. Here, let's have a look at the class diagram. In the top tier, it says tree, so this class describes the concept of the tree. The center tier describes the attributes. This is the data, the information we want to store about the tree. In our case, this is the current height. And it also has operations. That's the bottom tier here. The operations define the functionality that is provided. What my tree can do is the following. It can give us the current height and it can grow. Now based on this class diagram, we're going to access the functionality provided by this uh, tree class. Here I prepared some challenges. So the first thing I want to do is to create an instance of type tree and name it my tree. Now here I want to point out it says we're accessing the members from a different class. You can assume that all the code we're going to write here is written, let's say, in a main method in a different class or in some other context outside of tree. To create an instance of tree, I start by creating a variable, tree my tree. And now I'm going to assign a new instance of a tree, new tree. Here we have type name. This is how we always declare variables. And here we create a new tree. We always do this with a new operator and the constructor. Now the question might be, where did we come up with this constructor? Here in our operation field, no constructor is specified. How do we know that no constructor is specified? Because the constructor always has the same name as my class. And we can see here in my operation tier there's no entry that has the name tree. Now if we don't define our own constructor, Java gives us a default constructor. Default constructor has always zero parameters and we always call it with zero arguments. So here is my tree, but because it was a default constructor, my height is default initialized. So in our case, height starts with zero, which is fine for a new tree, because at this point it might just be a seed. Now I want to make my tree grow. I'm looking in my class diagram, what are my options? If something has a minus, that means private, so we cannot access it. The only options available are the ones with a plus here, and one option is get height, the other one is grow. And so just looking at the name, it gives me the clue, if I want my tree to grow, I better take the grow method. And because I don't just want to have every or any tree growing, but I want my specific tree to grow, I have to start with my tree, so here I specify which tree should grow, the dot operator, that's kind of like, please do something for me, what I want my tree to do is grow. I take the same name specified in my class diagram, grow, and now I have to check how much information do I have to provide. And if I look here, I can see zero parameters were specified. That means I have to call it with zero arguments. And this is it. Here I make my tree grow. Next challenge. Print the height of the tree. So at this point I have to figure out how do I get the current height of my tree. Once again, I don't just want to have the height of any tree, I want to have the height of my specific tree. So here I start with my tree, please do something. Let me look what my options are. Only two options that are available, those are the ones with the plus, get height or grow. And if I check what I really want to do, I want to get the height of my tree, I will realize get height is a good method to call. So here I'm calling get height. Once again I have to check how many arguments do I have to pass. This is the information I, I'm going to provide to my get height method. And the specification says no parameters, which means no arguments will be passed. At this point I have a method call my tree dot get height. And yes, the tree gives me the height, the current height. 
The only problem is it's a value, and if I look what type of a value, it shows it right here to me. It's an integer, that's the return type, but I'm doing nothing with it. I don't save it, I don't print it quite yet. And if I check my instructions, it tells me print the height. So I don't only want to have my value of height, I also want to print it. And we're going to add a print statement around it. So here I'm going to add a print statement, system out print line, and I say height, and I'm going to add to my height the actual height, the current height of my tree, and this is going to be printed. Just to avoid any confusion, I want to point out those double quotes. Those are regular double quotes, they just look like this in the font I'm currently using. In your IDE, they probably look more like this.